Hi guys, Beaver here and welcome back to episode 9 of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. If you remember in the last episode we was doing a car patrol in downtown and unfortunately the game crashed right at the end so I'm sorry about that but I decided to get the episode out anyway. With that out of the way, happy Monday to everyone. It's a new week and another week closer to the Christmas. Do remember that tomorrow on Tuesday the update for the new beta is out and I will be showing that to you. So do look forward to that. Anywho, let's get on with things. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And officer take no nonsense is ready. So yeah, let's get out and see what we can get into. And I think we'll take the SUV today. Yeah, last time we took the Crown Vic. So we'll take the SUV. Oh, just check this number plate right here. That's all good. Okay. Find and arrest drug dealers. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Is there any parks around here? Uh, yeah, there is down there. We could make it down there. That's a possibility. Because I haven't actually done that yet. In terms of resting drug dealers. But it is quite fun. I did it in my own personal playthrough that I don't show on stream. And yeah, it's definitely added a new dynamic to the game. But if we do come across it, then we'll do that. And at the very least, we are going to be getting this car towed out of here. Because that's not a very good very good place to park, excuse me. <laughs> Pop our lights on for a minute. There we go. Right. There's a situation that needs taking care of. Find a wanted person. Anybody available? Yeah, I'll take care of it. New information. We've updated your map with the potential area where the suspect can be found. So, Zoe Ward, blue shirt, blue suit, blue skirt. <laughs> That's awkward, that. I've got a car here. Anyway. How's that, bro? To my current location? Are you going to let us go, or are you just going to stand there? We want to go this way. Is anyone going to let us through? Or what if we pop our lights on? Come on. Come on. No, nope. I'm going to make my way. There we go. Right, let's find out where we need to be going. Okay, so down here. And take a left. I believe it's left, anyway. Let's just double check. Nope. Okay, we can make it the next way. If we go down here. Negative dispatch, I'm busy. Right. There we are. We'll get that. Just go around here. Hopefully we'll find Miss Zoe Ward. I mean, I don't think it should be that hard to find. The blue suit and blue star should stand out pretty well, but saying that, it may not. Anyway, we've got an alleyway here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to be a naughty officer. I'm going to go through here. And this will put us in the right area. So if we just put our lights on one side, and we will pull up and start conducting the search. How about that? Just pull up like that, and we'll now get out and for it. See if we can find our suspects. That could be her right in front of us. Oh no, that could be her. This could very possibly be her. Is that blue sheet, blue sheet? Yeah, I'd say this has got to be her. Yeah, stop this lady. Ma'am! And she's fleeing. Of course, why wouldn't you? Let's put her a taste point. There we are. Cool. Right, if you just get up, ma'am. Got any ID on you? Please show me your ID. Sure, officer. Here you go. I hope this is her. <laughs> and it is. Okay, we got our lady. We got her. Right, so I've just placed her under arrest for having an open warrant. I have to arrest you for having an open warrant. Please move on to the sidewalk. He 
Please don't do that. There we are. I call PT for her. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Cool. Right. Let's get back to our vehicle and get back out there. over here. Oh! I've just spotted something. This is really naughty, but I'm not gonna let someone get away with doing anything out of the ordinary. Else right now. So, let's speak to this lady. Ma'am, what are you doing? You're an artist and this is my livelihood. Okay, well let's get her ID. I'd like to see your ID, please. Here. Clara King, okay, that's all good. Right, well, I mean, she hasn't exactly been forthcoming with us, so I think she is only getting a ticket. Oh, come on, that's so much money. Well, that's what happens when you deface public property, ma'am, so I'm just going to let her go, and then we'll be out on our way again. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Sweet. So now we can get back to our car. At the third time of trying. And I think we may head down to the park down in the downtown area which is in Callahan. so yeah we'll head down this way and we'll see if we get anything in terms of drug dealers etc oh i'm gonna i think i'm better off just <laughs> really done all day. um i think we're just better off heading this way yes so we'll stay on this road until we get to this main cross section here, and then we'll turn right. And that should take us directly to the park. And then we will see if we can hook any drug dealers. Hmm, there's a car in front of us, I think it's got an expired plate. But we will see. Oh, is he going out of our jurisdiction? No! Well, we can't get him then. That's unfortunate. We'll just do our thing, head back down this way and see what comes of anything. Hopefully we'll get a call. So there's a car here that's parked facing the wrong direction. So we'll give that a ticket. And there's also one in front of it that is on the sidewalk. So that'll be another ticket. There we are. And this one. Has that got a fire plate? It's in its way. Oh, that's all good. And where is it? On crosswalk. There we are. Cool. I think we had... Oh, what is it with all these cars? So we are going to pull over this black SUV in front of us because that tailpipe is smoking heavily. He'll pull over for us. Yes, thank you, game. I understand that he's trying to find a proper parking spot. You don't need to keep telling me. There we are. Right, I'm going to do this. And that. Uh, hopefully, this car will pull over. Is he pulling over? 
pulling over here? Uh, negative dispatch. What on? Okay. That is odd. Oh, I guess we won't be speaking to them. What the hell? Okay then. Well, that <laughs> certainly woke me up. Okay, well I'm just gonna leave and pretend that nothing happened because that's just a game being a bit janky. Janky physics hype and all that stuff. Let's just get out of here. And I think with that we're gonna need to go and switch to the uh, Crown Vic because this car really isn't any in any sort of fit state now to be patrolling. So we're gonna flip a 180. And we'll get ourselves back to uh, back to the station. I can't believe that, the car literally just vanished and then it came back again. That was kind of odd. And that car just ran a red light. So that car's going to be getting pulled over. wonder where he's going to try and find a spot. Is he going to try and fit in there? Yes he is. Okay then. Well, he's going to stop there so we will just stop here and get out and make contact with them and see what they're up to. Because yeah, they definitely want to red light. And they've got an expired plate. Okay, let's run them in the system. So she's all good. Registration's expired, ran a red light. Cool. And that is definitely her, so let's detain her. We'll take that in a minute. I'll manage it. And we're going to detain her for, where is it, running that red light. I pulled you over because you just drove through a red light. I'm in a real hurry. I'm sorry. Okay, ma'am, got ID on you? ID, and if available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Hyper Allen, hold on, that's not... Okay... Exit the vehicle, please. Please, step out of the vehicle and walk to the sidewalk. Well, this changes everything. Because now she's going to be uh, placed under arrest for possession of a fake ID. So, we will cuff her for the fake ID. I have to arrest you for carrying a fake ID. Please don't do that. Okay, we'll get tow on the way, get PT, and then we'll be on our way to that. Robbery I need a scene. record at my current location. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. There we are. Cool. Now let's get out of here. Right, textures are acting a bit weird today. Seems to be some sort of uh, ghosting if you can see at the bottom of the screen. Don't know whether that's because of the extreme damage to the SUV or whether that's just a little something that I haven't seen before. But can we head out of our jurisdiction? Can we go this way? No, we can't. Okay, so we need to go straight on. See, that's one of the limitations we'll get removed with extended patrol or whatever it is that the um, Acer is calling it, but yeah, it'll be good, because at least that way we won't have to worry about going out of our jurisdiction because we can patrol anyway, so that should be more helpful. Okay, just make sure we slow down and whatnot. But I don't think it'll be too long before we're on the scene of this robbery now. 200 meters away. Looks like it's going to be down by an apartment block. Shit. 
should just make it time as well. We're now on the scene, so we can start to find out what the earth has gone on here. At least there's no injuries, so that's good. Tell me what you saw. I think the person was wet. Okay, that's a helpful start, I guess. Got an ID on you, ma'am? Your ID, please. Here you go, officer. What have we got here? Sadie Martin. That's all good. Nothing wrong with her, so she can leave. Have a nice day. Goodbye. There we are. Speak to this gentleman over here, see if he saw anything. Can you tell me what you saw? I think I remember what clothes the person was wearing. Wonderful. Got any ID on you, sir? Please show me your ID. Here. Take it. Okay, he seems a bit too eager to give us his ID. Jace Lewis. Uh, no gun permit, no registration insurance, but you wasn't driving, so that's all good. Uh, we'll just let him be on his way. It's fine. Have a nice day. Speak to the other two, but three witnesses, beg your pardon, and see if they saw anything. Can you tell me what you saw? I know what hair color the person had. Okay. I'll arrived in the area. I'll start looking for the suspect. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get a more better description. So we'll just ask this gentleman for his ID and then we'll speak to the other two witnesses. I'd like to see your ID, please. Here, officer. Thank you. What we got here? Eli Robinson. That's all good. And he's all good, so we'll let him go. You're good to go. Bye. There we are. So we'll speak to this lady now. Oh, she's not a witness. Okay. Well, there's just this one person left. Tell me what you saw. I know that person. Okay. Well, that's helpful. I'd like to see your ID. Don't tell me. That's her, isn't it? Here, officer. I bet that's her stood right there. Okay. Cool, we'll let her go. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Yeah, this is definitely her, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's speak to her. And we'll detain her for matching a description. I stopped you because you match a description. Hmm. Okay. Got ID on you, ma'am? Your ID, please. Here you go, officer. Ivy Martin. I don't believe it. Yeah, she has an open warrant, so she's going to be placed under arrest now for robbery. I have to arrest you for robbery. Please, no! Okay, I'll get PT down here and then we'll be on our wagon. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Anyway, I do hope you're enjoying this episode, guys. It would be helpful if you left me a like, just to know that you want me to carry on doing this. So I think now we'll go and pick up the other car. Which means we need to get into our computer. Oh, it's all the way up there. Okay, well, we've got to go and get it, because this car is just completely wrecked. Yeah, we are picking up some good shift points today. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get into the final district. And negative destruction. Yeah, I'm not taking traffic stops because they are literally just a waste of time at the moment. Because they don't really mean much, to be honest. So. Maybe if they actually started to mean something, or had more of a in-depth sort of um, experience, then I'd consider it. But right now, they just they just don't mean anything. I mean, all you literally do is stand there, just pulling cars over. And then some people may be like, well, you know, that's kind of what you do as a police officer. Well, no, it's not. Not really. 
You know, you can one minute you can be doing not a lot, the next minute you could have an um, emergency call that you have to attend to. So I don't really enjoy doing those traffic stops, which is why I haven't actually done any. But anyway, we're now in the other car, so I think we'll be spending the other half of our shift in the Cranleck. How about that? At least we've actually managed to do both vehicles in the same shift. Why is he stopped for? I think we may have clipped him or something. Anyway, let's get around this guy. And we will see if we can find anyone that needs pulling over. By the way, did you want me to do an episode in first person? Like, would you prefer this or just third person? Do let me know. If you want one, then I'll happily do an episode in first person. I don't mind. I think it would be different. But it probably wouldn't be the next episode though, because like I said, we've got the new beta coming out. So next episode, there'll be pretty much... I want you guys to see everything, so I doubt it'll be the next episode. But the one after that is entirely possible. That could be a first person episode, which I think would be fun. It's something different. I haven't done one before. I mean, I've done it in first person, but not for an entire episode, or for an entire patrol. So yeah, I think that would definitely spice some things up a little bit. Anyway, I'm still looking, but... Like a car to pull over or something. The thing is, I haven't caught anyone at red light yet. So... Hopefully... We will get someone in a minute. Uh, I think this car's going to stop now. Right, we will just have a look in the police computer. That car is all valid. Okay, let's go and pick on another car. How about this taxi car? Let's have a look at them. No registration, no insurance. Okay. Well, here's our next traffic stop right here. And when the game says traffic stop, what it actually means is like a a checkpoint. Basically, you just pull random cars over. It's not really a traffic stop. I wish the developers would update the description of that because I don't really find it's that entirely honest. I wouldn't say it's a lie, but it kind of misleading in a way. It doesn't really uh, help. There we are. Right. Is anyone going to let me over? Anyone going to let me over? There we are. Hopefully this taxi cab is going to move over a bit. Go on. Are they waiting for me? I d oh, bugger. I just hit that car. Right, well, let's pull over here and see if they move or something. Is she broken now? I don't know where she's waiting for something. Hopefully she's going to move. There we go. Cool. Well, hopefully there's a nice little gap right here. Yes, there is. I think she's gonna pull in. She's still looking for a gap. Oh, don't go out of map bounds, please. Hope <laughs> not again. You are, aren't you? Oh, unbelievable. Right, okay, well then I guess what we're going to do is we are going to go to the park and see if we can find any drug dealers. Because I haven't shown you that yet. Anyway, let's park up here. Let's do some good old fashioned police work, how about that? So, how to spot a drug dealer here, you ask? Well, it's not actually that hard. All you need to do is just lie in wait, basically find a good spot, and you'll normally know if something's something's going on because two people will get near each other, and eventually one of them will hand over a, a brown bag. And as soon as you've seen that, that's your evidence, and then you can swoop in. Sometimes they'll try and flee, other times they won't. But yeah, don't go in straight away, otherwise you'll get marked down for it because you didn't wait for them to seal the deal as if it was. But there's definitely a few people stood around so let's just see if any sort of dealings take place. Because there's that woman there. There's another woman over here. Hopefully something will go down. Come on, you know you want to. What about under here? 
Oh, we could have a look under here. Anything going on? Hmm. Something tells me that it may not happen today. But you never know. Let's go on a little bit of an explore around the park because no one seems to be doing anything at this point. Sometimes you just have to go and look around just a teeny teeny bit and then you'll all of a sudden come across someone. Then you just need to make sure you don't get too close so they can conduct the deal and then you can swoop in. What have we got over here? See look, this looks like, oh that's just two people sat down, I thought they were stood up. Oh, here, here you go, here you go, here you go. Look, let's wait here. Watch these two. Come on, hand a package over. See, there we are, he's handed over something. As soon as she walks off, we're going to swoop in and take that guy. She's just handing over the money. And... Wait for her to take off. Come on. Is she actually gonna leave? Or? We have an emergency. Who's available? Negative dispatch. I'm currently busy with another issue. So that's two packages he's handed over right now. That's two packages that she's paid for. There we are. She's walking off. Right. Let's go. Let's take him out. Sir! And he's fleeing. Right, here we are. Sir, freeze! Police! Stop! Right, here he didn't freeze, so... And we'll get her too. Okay, ask her ID. I'd like ID. to see your ID, please. Here, officer. Wonderful. Jack Moore. Okay, let's search him. We have probable cause, as we witnessed him dealing with the drugs, so that's all good. Yep, that's good enough for me. So he's going to be now placed under arrest for selling narcotics. I have to arrest her for selling narcotics. With another issue. Please, no! And we'll get PT down here for him. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Wonderful. Alright, let's speak to this person here. Ma'am! Hold on. She, yeah, she was buying drugs. Okay, so we'll detain her for... Possessing drugs. I stopped you because I have probable cause that you were part of a drug deal. I'm sorry. Okay, ma'am, got ID on you. Please show me your ID. Sure, officer. Here you go. Yeah, I'm happy at that bust. That's a real good bust for us. Grace Walker. Okay, we'll give her a pat down. Being as we have proper calls with her as well. Bag of white powder. There it is. So she's now going to be placed under arrest for possession of narcotics. I have to arrest you for possession of drugs. Please don't do that. And I need another PT down here. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Okay, so that's them to cuffed. How many cuffs have we got left? I think we're running out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the patrol car, pick up some more handcuffs and see if we can catch any more dealers. In fact, it looks like there's one going down right here. Look. This looks like it's a deal. Yep, it is. That woman just handed over a package. I wonder if she's going to leave now. Is she going to leave? Right. Oh! Yeah, for some reason she started walking away and then all of a sudden uh, transported back to the uh, woman. 
teleported, sorry, <laughs> transported, what was on about? Think Beaver. Yeah, she teleported back. Well, that's another package sold. I mean, we've definitely got enough evidence here, so... Right now, is she gonna leave? There we go, right, let's move in. And once again, she's fleeing. Ma'am, stop! Police! Stop! Awesome. We will... I'd like to see your ID. Thanks. Your ID? <sighs> Victoria Clark, that's good to me. We are now going to conduct a search on her. No way! Oh, this bug again. Okay, right. Freeze. And then we'll try to search again, shall we? Sometimes it does this, we have to do a duplicate search before it'll actually show you what she's got on her. There we go, holy moly! Six bags of powder, she's definitely going downtown. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're a terrible cop! Oh, I'm a very good cop, actually, but thank you for your confidence. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Negative dispatch. I'm afraid I can't make it in time. But this is going to do us the world of good. Right, let's see if we can find that other woman. There we go. Where was that other woman? I believe she had a blue tank top on. The uh, buyer. But I, chances are she's long gone now. Ah, well, I'm more than happy. We got the uh, dealer, so that's mostly what we're here for. If we can get the seller, get the buyer as well, then that's a bonus. But most of the time, we're just interested in the dealers. But no, that gave us a good haul of points there, so I'm pleased to punch with that. Anyway, I think we need to start heading back to the uh, station because we are running out of time. And I just heard an accident nearby. Great. Okay, well, I'm gonna just move up a bit. I guess this is how we're finishing the shift today. We have an accident. Okay, let's speak to the drivers. Oh, she's drunk already, I can tell. The way that person was driving looked downright dangerous. Yeah, she can barely stand up, so I'd say she's DUI or right anyway. So, you got license, registration, proof of insurance on you? ID, and if available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Well, I got here. Austin Price. That's valid, and that's valid. And he's all valid. So, we'll just do the standard UI tests. Comes back all clear. Let's do the drug test. And that's all negative. Okay, so he's all clear so far. We're not going to be arresting him for anything. Negative dispatch. I'm currently busy. I'm currently busy with another right, let's issue. Let's interview her. I was in control of my car the whole time. Okay. License, registration, proof of insurance on your man. ID, and if available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. I don't swear it looks like she's going to be arrested for being DUI, and that's a stolen ID. Because it does come back to that gentleman, so we can get her on that as well if she's not DUI, but I definitely think she is, so just run standard tests. <clears throat> Yes, she is. 0 0.113, so that's only, what, one and a half times over the legal limit? So she is definitely now going in. And that's all good. So... We will now do the usual photos. Which I don't think that will take too long. Got one right here. Looks like there is another witness as well. So we're gonna need to go and speak to everyone. There we are. We've got a mirror here. We've got another little scrape on there. 
Hopefully we can find a witness if there is one. There is a missing uh, sucker. Broken window pane. Anyway, is that it for this vehicle? Looks like it. Yeah. So we got here. There we are. Looks like we've got one there. Cool. Alright, let's just make sure that that's all good, which it is, so I'm happy with that. Issue him with his report and he can be on his way. Okay, use your accident report. This is an accurate report. Thank you. And you can free leave, sir? We're finished here. We're free to go. Have a nice day and take care. There we go. Oh, he's not walking away. Okay, I thought he would have been. Anyway, let's give her our accident report and then we'll place her in cuffs. This is your accident report. This is an accurate report. Thank you. Okay. Right, ma'am, you can be placed under arrest this time for being drunk, driving under the influence of alcohol. I have to arrest you for driving under the influence yeah, of alcohol. Yeah, he got the wrong then. Please move to the sidewalk. Please, no! Okay, so now we need to get two tow trucks. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I need a record at my current location, I have a vehicle here that please. needs towing. I need a record at my current location, and please. And a... Oh, it'll be with you shortly. No, he's not a witness. Thought you may have been. Okay. Your shift is over, officer. Let's just get and see if we can uh, find this last witness. Okay, well I'm satisfied anyway, we've got the suspect, so I'm happy with that, so let's get PC on the way for her and we can head back to the station and call that a day. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Cool. Right, now let's get out of here. And our lights off, where's the nearest station? Oh, right there. Wonderful. Just get through this intersection because I don't really fancy wedding. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit too overzealous there. We'll get there. Car's all okay. So, yes. Fine by me. Park up nicely. Probably need to adjust forward a bit. There we are. Like a glove. So, let's go inside and see how we did. Hopefully we'll have picked up another star or two on this shift. Where are we? What desk are we at today? Oh no, looks like it was this one over here. Yes it is. What have we got here? Oh that looks good. Yep, that was nearly another star. Anyway, I think that's good enough there. So remember, next episode we'll be checking out the beta, so make sure you don't miss that one. Please don't forget to leave a like, and until next time guys, take care.